Hello everyone and welcome to the third episode of DayZ with Aqua. This is going to be starting right where we left off in episode two. This is of course the next part of my three and a half hour gaming session that I did on DayZ the other day. And we start out at this lighthouse which causes a couple problems for us in just a minute. <laughs> I am actually post recording the audio for this as you can probably tell already because the audio isn't so good as far as my voice I still have the regular game audio in there but um, I wasn't able to capture the voices of anyone else that I was playing with so it's kind of just my voice and it's just a lot of me responding to people that you can't hear and not making a big deal out of very much stuff it's really just overall kind of boring so I thought it would be more fun to cut together this video and then just talk over it so I've already edited everything I've gotten the best clips from about this is probably like an hour an hour and a half of footage and I've gotten all the best pieces of it and I'm ready to just narrate over it for you and I hope this will be a little bit better than episode 2 which I wasn't that happy with funnily enough I started episode 2 and I just left in the regular audio and I really didn't like it that much I felt like Notice how I'm laying down on top of the rail, and this game is a little bit glitchy, so keep that in mind for a second. But overall, I wasn't too happy with episode 2. I felt like the audio was a bit boring at times, and here we go. Check this out. <laughs> I phase, like, right through the railing, fall down and die. Oh. <laughs> I was actually waiting for Wizard to meet up with me. He's who I was playing this session with. I was waiting for him to meet up with me at the lighthouse, and I started laying down on one of the rails for some reason, and I phased right through the rail and died. I have no idea what happened there. Daisy can be a bit glitchy at times, but as with any huge open world game like that, that's bound to happen every once in a while. Everything can't be perfect in such a big game. But yeah, just respawning right now. And since the second episode, just like... The audio was just me talking, and it was a bit boring at times, so I decided that I would rather just cut together some of the more exciting clips in the future and talk over it like this, because I can make the video a bit better. I feel like we just respawned here on the beach, and we spawned right outside of a town, actually. Yeah, I remember what happens here. <laughs> this stuff's all pretty fun. This entire video is pretty cool. I actually just gained the ability to upload videos on my channel longer than 15 minutes, so I'm no longer completely restricted like I used to be. I missed the option that told you that you could upload videos longer than 15 minutes a while ago. So, yeah, now I have that ability, so this video is going to be about 15 minutes and 50 seconds, because I've already edited everything and I can see it right here. But yeah, back to the actual content of the video. I basically have no clue what I'm doing at this point in the gameplay. <laughs> this is very early on. It's a little bit better than earlier. I know how to pick up items and stuff at the very least, but I still have no clue what I'm doing. I'm crawling around this barn and this immediate area just to be safe, but yeah, there's not too much around here, I don't think. I find a couple items over here. Oh yeah, I found some shotgun shells, which were pretty interesting. I picked them up because I was so desperate for a weapon. Uh, the entire first couple hours of this gameplay, I am just so desperate for a weapon. I would do anything for a gun or an axe or anything. I wanted a weapon so bad this entire time, <laughs> and I just could not get one. I found some bullets here, so I just took them, just happy at the thought of even having ammo for a gun, <laughs> because I was so desperate. But yeah, there aren't any zombies in this immediate area, I don't think. I start crawling up this ladder. I probably could have been crouch walking, but that's alright. Better safe than sorry, especially in this game. Being stealthy is one of the biggest virtues of this game. <laughs> and I try to be very stealthy. I actually spend most of my time crawling on the ground. And if you don't know, standing up and running makes a ton of noise, and that alerts zombies. The main thing about zombies is you don't want them to hear you. You spend a lot of time crawling and tr trying to avoid gunshots and just trying to overall be really quiet, because that's the best way to stay alive. I believe I'm done with this barn at this point. <laughs> 
What am I doing here? Hmm. I just exited it. Exited it. That's another one of those things. <laughs> Some words are just hard to say in order in the English language, and exited it and edited it, it are two of those things. Ugh, those always mess me up. Cannot say those. Too many it sounds in a row. I'm in this big, like, storage area. I don't know. I'm right outside of one of the major cities. I forget what this one's called. I spend most of my time in this little gameplay in Electro, which I get to later in this episode, and I spend most of my time in in the next episodes to come. And Electro is very cool. And I can't wait to get to the some to some of the stuff that happens there. <laughs> there are some priceless parts of that playthrough. It gets so good once we get to Electro, I can't wait. <laughs> uh, that stuff will be so fun. But, yeah, I just spend a little bit of time just being stealthy around here. Looking around, trying to find weapons and ammo. Unfortunately, there are none to be found. So I cut away here. And I bring you over to this little area. This is like a dock outside of one of the main cities. And I try to be stealthy as always. I don't know if you can see it yet, but there are actually zombies off in the distance here. <laughs> and yeah, that's the main city. That's a good view of it. We are just outside of that city on the other side of a little river. And I spend a little bit of time here just kind of surveying my surroundings. This is actually the... Oh, <laughs> I went into one of those houses and got ambushed by a zombie. I do my best here to open this door and get away. And now we start having quite a few zombie problems. <laughs> so we're in that part of the episode. This is before I knew how to really avoid them. It was before I had any means of fighting them because there are no melee attacks in this game unless you have a weapon. I had no guns at this point. And so this zombie follows me all the way out here from the house. It takes quite a odd path but <laughs> I start crawling on the ground and the thing with crawling is you are almost invisible to zombies when you're crawling there's a good little view of the city I just crawled away because the zombie basically couldn't even tell I was there anymore <laughs> and yeah I just look over at the city at this point I was contemplating how to get over there I really wanted to get to the city because I didn't know there were things like this in Daisy I thought it was just like mostly I thought it was like all just like land and with a few houses and shacks every once in a while i didn't know there were major cities and there are several in this game and that is awesome so when i found this i was actually really intrigued and i wanted to go check the city out and i believe i do a little bit later but for now i'm just trying to be stealthy and avoid the zombies as much as possible and yeah, at this point, I've attracted a little bit of attention. <laughs> I try to crawl there, but that's not going to do any good. I take a hit, and I am now bleeding. So, I've got quite a problem on my hands. I have several zombies chasing me, and I am bleeding. So, at this point, I'm just trying to get the zombies off my trail as fast as possible, and more keep joining the group. <laughs> you can see a couple coming from the distance over there. So I've got more and more zombies on my trail, and I'm just trying to find a way to get them away. I use this fence here. I don't know why I was looking at that island. <laughs> That's not going to do me any good. But I just use all these fences and these buildings to kind of break the sight line and just kind of stop them a bit. And I get to this ladder, and I did not know the controls very well. And I try to climb it, and I just completely fail at it. I could not get up that ladder. <laughs> that was so bad. Yeah, I've learned quite a bit since then, and I take another hit, so that's not helping our blood situation. My goals are just lose the zombies and put a bandage on so I can stop that blood from going all the way. <laughs> so, yeah, I think right up here I do something that works decently well. I just sprint far away trying to lose them as fast as possible and then I get down on the ground and I crawl under this pipe and that actually helped a lot. That put a wall that the zombies couldn't really get through in between me and them and then I go get on the other side of this pipe as well and that really kind of cut them off my trail. That helped a lot. And now I am running into the main part of the city. 
So that all worked pretty well. That was one of the first times I was able to successfully get away from zombies. So I get on the ground here and just look back at them to see who's left. And none of them were still following me, so my little plan there actually worked. But now you can see the sky kind of turning black and white. That happens when you lose a lot of blood. And so my priority here is just to get a bandage on as fast as possible so I can stop that blood loss. My blood is getting pretty low. I don't know why I take so long here. <laughs> You're losing blood. You need to put a bandage on right now. But I just take my sweet time and don't really worry about it. I don't even know what I'm doing in the menu. I'm not even clicking anything. Maybe I was talking or something. But yeah, the color is completely drained from the screen. You can see just how bad it's getting. But finally, I do put the bandage on. And I stop losing blood. And now I am ready to enter the city. And that zombie is still over there. He's about the only one left. Once I get in the city, I find this train. And up top, I see a hatchet, which really, really makes me happy. I really wanted a weapon this whole time. But I was having problems getting up there. And even when I kind of glitchily made my way up, I still couldn't pick up the hatchet. Because I didn't know the controls. <laughs> uh, but eventually, I am able to. And... Yeah. Come on. I know I pick you up in a second. This is... Yeah. For some reason, the hatchet is now in my inventory after I, like, ducked below the train. I have no idea what happened there, honestly. But, whatever. Unfortunately, I didn't know what to do with the axe. It's not as simple as just equipping it and being able to use it as a weapon. You actually had to mess with some options or something. And I had no idea how to do that. So I cut over here to this house, and I open a door, don't really see anything inside, but then I am instantly greeted by a zombie, <laughs> and he makes pretty short work of me. I am laying on the ground, and I can't move, being just assaulted by a zombie, bleeding out, and yep, I barely survived that, and I'm able to move again. You can see me bleeding everywhere. The zombie is just absolutely demolishing us. I was, I had no idea what to do here. I pretty much had accepted that I was going to die. But at the last second, I decide to turn around. I notice a back door. And I just, the zombie luckily is like stuck on that door. So I managed to just shove this door open and just barely crawl my body out of there. <laughs> the sky, everything is black and white. I don't have anything going for me. I'm stuck. I have absolutely nothing to do. I don't have anything to work with. I actually am trying to equip my axe here just so I can hit him really quick, but yeah, it was just too late. I just bleed out there, and yeah, all I really managed to do was open the back door and crawl away a little bit before I finally did die. Took way too much damage there. And this is a little bit further. I think I skipped a decent amount of stuff because it was just me walking down railroads and regular roads. <laughs> there was absolutely nothing of note there. And this is Electro, I believe. So, I think it's actually on the outskirts of Electro. It's the very outside. I was following the train tracks trying to meet up with Wizard and a couple people he was with. And I cut over here and find some loot. At this point, I'm just kind of scouring the city trying to find anything that can help me. I find some flares and other random stuff. There was some decent stuff in that pile, actually. That wasn't horrible for just a random little pile of junk. <laughs> So yeah, I've got a little bit of equipment with me there. And right here, right after this, this is where things really start to pick up. Right after I die this time, uh, spoilers, I might die here. <laughs> I start looking at zombie corpses. I was trying to check if they were like, um, dead humans, but they weren't. There's another one up here. They were actually from people who had picked them off with guns up here, who I join up with in the next part. From here on out, I spend most of my time in Electro, and things really start happening. <laughs> These episodes get insane after this. At the beginning of part 4, I'm going to meet up with basically everyone on the server in Electro, and 
Oh, uh, we have we get so many guns, so many people die, so many zombies die. It is absolutely awesome. So, if you enjoyed this part, definitely join me in part four, which will probably be uploaded tomorrow or on Wednesday. It'll be up pretty soon. So yeah, definitely stay tuned if you enjoyed this part because it's about to get much much better from here. And I finally die, and that's about it for this character's life. But with that character's death comes some life for our series, I guarantee you. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe and join me for next time. And you can see on the bottom there, it says Electro with some other stuff in Russian. <laughs> and that's where we're headed. Stay tuned, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.